the video on the IB Learner port portfolio and this is a component that you're going to be using next year in both literature and language and literature. Now, I've just got some frequently asked questions. So this is a component. It's obligatory. It's something that you do and it's quite a new thing. It's only been in place for a couple of years. So I want to kind of answer these questions. Why have one? Well, that's the answer, right? It's, so it's required. Um, what is it is a much more interesting question. So the learner portfolio is a thing that you maintain and that you keep and that you keep adding to. And it is a place for reflection, for notes, for assessments. But for most of all, the most important thing about it is the independent element of it. Now, those kinds of independent things are texts that you will explore and, and have a go at writing on your own. Um, it's expected that there's a new piece in there every couple of weeks. Um, and here is a selection of the types of things that you would collect and put in there. So they're all things to do with language. Um, interviews, graphic panels, pastiche, comics, poems, uh, any sort of text, because a text is a there's a lot of things that can be a text. And so that's what goes in there. And we will collect it, we will look at it every periodically, we will examine what you've been putting in. The IB can request to see it um, if they want to, um, but not usually. Uh, so that has to go in there. Here's an example of one that was done by a student this year. So as you can see, it's very well uh, organized. Everything is hyperlinked, so it's super easy to, um, to, to access. And the different things that are independent are in there. And so when something is covered in class, it's a really good way to, um, to reflect on it and to consolidate what you understand by making your notes, by making your connections. So here, for example, there was some Russian poetry. And so this student went and wrote some poetry of her own using the style of it, which is extremely, uh, extremely helpful for getting a sort of a understanding something. You, you can read things, but it's only when you write them that you actually end up demonstrating and, and really being able to express what you understand. Another thing that belongs in there are things like this, mind maps, a really good way of consolidating. It's almost like revision notes when you when you structure it out in your mind, it creates a sort of a schema that you can follow and hang on to. So that's what it is. It's a very simple thing. Um, how often do I contribute is uh, every couple of weeks. And we normally keep them as Google Drive folders, uh, which are shared. So you just put them in there, and that way they don't get lost. So that's what we've got on Learner Profile. There's a very quick quiz to this underneath.